What's good YouTube? This is Whiteboy503 and I'm coming out with you with another tutorial. Not a PSP tutorial, but it is another tutorial. And this is on the uh, Android powered tablet. Just got myself one, which I will be doing a review on maybe. I might, I don't know yet. But so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to put a uh, the NES a NES emulator on your tablet or Android device, whichever. So first of all, I need you to go into here. I need you to go into your market. It should say Google Play Store. If you've updated it, I haven't updated this yet, so it won't show that. So you come here. First, what I need you to do is to just type in download. It's regular like that. And you should see should see this pop up first. And I want you to install it. I already have it installed on mine, so I don't need to. So once you're do, done with that, I need you to come down here to settings. Come down here to uh actually hold on one sec. Actually, never mind. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open your internet browser. Sorry, I have this. No, wrong one. Sorry, I clicked the wrong one by accident. So I'll put a link in the description to this right here. We're going to be using the Android nesoid which is just basically saying android uh and nesoid is the um program so what you want to do is you want to click download should say starting your starting download go up to here shouldn't take that long done bam that easy should click on this go package installer or whatever and what you want to do is install click install and so it'll pull up real easy not that not that hard and this is the symbol if you're wondering what the icon will look like when you go through your uh, apps and everything so it has open and done I'm gonna click done so we don't have any ROMs so it doesn't really matter so I'll put a link in the ah come on Put the link, another link in the description to this right here, and uh, to this website right here, or this uh, link right here, which it will be to uh, Metroid.nes. Just to show you, I'm just going to use this once to show you guys how, to show you guys that it works. Come on, starting download, bam. Okay, so you want to click on it, and then you want to click download all files, and what you want to do is you want to click on it right here, and you want to hit the backspace, oh come on, click backspace, and just make sure it says just Metroid, and then dot NES. Sorry. Okay, once you're done with that, click save file. So it should be saved. And you can close out of this. Go back home. Open this up, click this and go into your downloads folder and then it should have one that says ignore this right here that one's from earlier uh, and then you just click on it bam then you click this button right here go to your settings virtual keypad settings and you can change all of it and all that kind of stuff what you want to do is you want to add make sure these are on looks better if it's on the both bottom in a row just 
back out, back out again. And bam, you got all your, your D-pad there. These buttons right here. These buttons right here are like regular buttons and then these are like turbo kind of buttons. And then starting sucks up there, so I'll start it to show you. See? Starts up, works perfectly fine. And I'll be doing other tutorials on um, more Android friendly kind of stuff. See, it jumps and everything. Alright, so this is White Boy 503. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll provide links to the emulator itself and to this game right here. And I might include another one. I don't know yet. Um, check out my other videos. Check out my PSP videos if you haven't already. Check out the challenges that I'm doing. And uh, once, as you guys, if you guys have watched my other videos, you know my computer doesn't look like that. I my computer went craps up, so I had to redo it, but I will be doing more challenges, more tutorials on PSPs. I'm gonna, after I get a little bit more equipment and stuff like that, I'm gonna try to do like a couple Let's Plays, so I hope you guys will like that, but uh, like I said, rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Or you can personal message me or whatever if you're having difficulties with anything. Alright, peace.